Здравейте на всички! Хай йо! It is Nicole Walev and in this video we will do some interior visualization. We start with uh, several rooms here. As you can see this is the bedroom. The I will um, turn on all layers. The entry, uh, right is the toilet uh, and uh, the bedroom and you go uh, up in front of you is the kitchen with the dining table and the living room with uh, its sofas and uh, TV and so on. We want to make uh, some uh, 3D views from both the living room and the bedroom. First we have some um, uh, preparations to them since um, our elements are very um, messy. Uh, because I began with uh, another project and uh, I must first uh, correct the layers of the elements. As you can see the guy has used shells to add to the already built furniture which is uh, not uh, parametric and is quite heavy basically. But uh, now my focus is on the layers of the furniture. Let's change the layers. First let's define. I will separate the furniture between uh, furniture he heavy which means uh, um, it, uh, it is too tough for my video card and I will hide it when necessary to speed up my renderings. Okay and let's go the another layer furniture light okay now we need to add layers for the lamps we are gonna use we will create one night rendering and one day rendering uh, I will show you later how to do it let's go with our lamp uh, um, general a lamp spotlight a lamp window light and let's add another one um, lamp ceiling okay let's do uh, that's great okay press okay and uh, let's see if our layers are updated okay now let's uh, send the furniture to its according layers this is uh, the light element but if we select the pillows they're quite heavy. They're, they're, they've been uh, built in uh, 3D Max and um, here in Akika they're like uh, some very very hard to build mesh. But let's uh, send them to A Furniture Heavy. Okay, this one. Uh, let's just select all of our furnitures and meshes and let's leave only that layers first the furniture which is pre-built in Archicad I will send it to furniture interior furniture is good okay let's let's leave that I will use that for the standard uh, elements in Archicad this will be our first lamp which will be uh, in uh, it is uh, I will show you what this lamp is about it seems that uh, it is uh, hidden in 3d view but uh, no problem this is uh, just uh, I will re reduce its height and I will export it outside the model and now we can view it in 3D I just want to show you what the lamp is about this is the lamp and uh, unfortunately for us it doesn't contain any lights uh, if we render that let's see the rendering I suppose it will be very very bad because it doesn't contain any lights just as I told you this is uh, quite uh, unsatisfactory I will not wait to see it at all 
and uh, this lamp will uh, do us more damage than good if we leave it uh, like that with no materials no uh, lights and uh, I will do that later when we proceed to our interior visualization I will now delete that and now let's uh, continue rearranging our elements the chairs are also heavy I will send them to A fern, fern heavy ok great we have uh, uh, something another lamp hmm. ok I will send that to our lamps which will be in the first spotlight I will send it to a lamp spotlight this is also heavy furniture and we have a vase with grapes I suppose it is also heavy alright this is interesting let's see what this actually is aha uh -huh, this is our kitchen kit yes I, I see he has used archicat elements which will be I hope he has oh no he has over overridden many of the uh, surfaces we need to set them manually now whenever we see overrides the fridge also but uh, yes, uh, it, it looks good for now. I just leave it at that. But they're all furniture light. I will now go to my floor plan and send them to A for light. Okay. What's this about? Table. Let's see that. Yes, before rendering, we need to check out all of our furniture and. Uh, see if it is uh, good enough for us hmm. this is very strange table <laughs> I have never seen such a strange table with, with uh, invisible walls uh, but ok this is this is again a table that is not non-parametric let's change it to a front night okay the sofas first let's hide the layer of the slabs this is a picture I think these pictures will not be suitable I will use a pictures that I used in the buff in the bedroom excuse me and I will just turn them to face the interior ok that's great he has left intentionally space between the sofas and the, and the wall and uh, it's very interesting what kind of a sofa is that I cannot select it at all let's see aha it has hotspots here it's very strange. Uh, I don't um, recommend using uh, random uh, furniture like he has because uh, it leads to very very big uh, confusion later. Let's change it to furniture heavy. This will be our furniture light. This is these are the windows window blinds. We will change that. Okay, the table. Uh, it seems that it, he has used shell, which is quite good. Let's see wardrobe, Oof. and as you can see, his accuracy is. Uh, I will not uh, make any comments, but this is tough uh, to rearrange. Let's see, this is TV set. Uh -huh. He has used one element for both, or no? one TV here, one TV there ok then let's leave only the shells shells will be in 
Avon Light. Okay. Now these are our floor, uh, floor um, adjustments. Here we have also some blinds. We will change it to uh, A from light. The lamps, this will be spotlight. Again, uh, the lamps are the biggest issue here. Uh, don't worry about the furniture or the uh, materials on the furniture it isn't uh, as important as the lighting as for interior visualization as you can see the element is uh, very random you cannot be sure if it has light and I suppose it doesn't we will just send it to a lamp spotlight great and now let's uh, let's see what our bed is like show selection marquee in 3d okay he has uh, up added uh, um, drapery here but uh, he has forgot to add the mattress of the bed as you can see it is hollow we will do that now let's go to First, let's uh, delete uh, the A from heavy, which will be also well. Well, we must uh, send the drapery also. Aha, the same problem. This is the uh, vial of the bed. It is vial. Well, strange word <laughs> for me. <laughs> let's send it to A well, A from heavy. And now we are left with the contour of the bed. Now we can make a slab. Let's, let's send it to A for light. Okay. Until here. And let's stretch. To match the bed. This is a little bit of 3D modeling, but uh, quite easy for us. Uh, it's just a curve. You can do it also by filleting and uh, guessing the radius is 5 or 10. Let's use 10 now. 10, yes, exactly. Exactly, then uh, it is easier. Now, this is the shell. I'll send it to beneath the slab and now we need to raise this slab and change the material I will use wood and uh, no overrides of the of the material and raise it by uh, actually I will raise it by 30 for now and then I will view it in 3D on this part okay this is our mattress we need to raise it again. Let's raise it by 30. Okay. Until here. Okay. I don't like the overrides at all. Let's disable them. Building material wood. Uh, we need to go to our building materials. Wood. Wood oak, okay, that's great. Okay, and uh, let's see. Oh, it doesn't let me at all. This is quite, quite challenging. Now we went uh, beneath the bed. And okay, I, but if we do some overrides, is there a difference at all? I don't suggest using overrides for anything, but this way is good enough. Here he has also used some overrides. Let's see, pine horizontal. I've used that pine horizontal also here. Pine horizontal. Like 
that. Okay, that's great. The model is so heavy that it uh, barely lets me do my job. Let's raise now the matter, the height of the slab. Okay, uh, slowly but surely we will get there. Okay, let's raise it a little bit. Let's make it 30. No, less, less than that. 27. 25. Okay, that's great. I think that will look all good. And now we must mm, we must move this drapery. It is it is very challenging to make such connections with a mesh. Let's move it five centimeters. Yes, that's good. Okay, now we've built our mattress. We must uh, go to the floor plan again and define our views. This is the next step. But I will do that in the next part. See you.